Hi guys, you're welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imwan. On this channel, I talk about cake business and I share tips on how to grow your cake business from zero to a hundred. I'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, United Kingdom, and you're welcome to my channel. Yes, the vibe of this video is different. I know. I just want it to be a kind of relaxing video. It's my 400th video on this channel and it's just amazing how far I've come. We're about hitting, as at the time of recording this video, we're about hitting 28,000 subscribers and I'm just so happy and excited for the positive impact and all that we've been able to achieve together as a family. So it's a different kind of video. You can see the vibe. I'm relaxed on my sofa. My legs are up. And I just thought to do this video and post it today as well. So I'm recording on the day that I made this video. I'm recording on the day that I posted this video. And it's just to let you know that all hope is not lost. If you're seeing my face for the first time, welcome to my channel. If you've always been here, thank you for always being here. And just like the title rightly says, it's not over. I know that we are slowly coming to the end of the year in a couple of days the year is going to be ending and i just want to encourage someone out there who feels that they've tried all they could for their cake business from january up until december and they've not been able to make any headway in fact things have gotten worse they've gone from bad to worse or they've gotten tougher or whatever it is it's not over yet until you as the person in charge says that it's over, I set goals for my business at the beginning of the year and it will surprise you to know that I achieved some of them, but not all of them. <laughs> so I set goals that I wanted to achieve for my business and I must say that realistically speaking, I did not achieve all of my goals, but I am not where I was at the beginning of January. So this is me to you. If you made progress in any shape, form, size as a baker in your cake business, whether the whether, whether small or big, you were able to register a business name, even if you did not make sales, you were able to learn a course, you were able to learn maybe cake decorating, you were able to add a skill, or you were able to gain another knowledge outside of baking that would help you as a person, you need to give yourself credit. You need to applaud yourself. You need to look at yourself as someone who has achieved something, as a winner. So I know that the year's been tough. Many things have happened. You've struggled to get customers. I also went through the same. I had my own fair share of ghosting, customers ghosting, people questioning prices and all of that. But in the midst of everything, I, like I said, I'm not where I used to be at the beginning of the year, skill-wise, business-wise, settling in-wise as the baker, understanding ingredients and how they work, gaining knowledge, connecting with more people, hosting classes. Like I had a goal for the number of classes that I wanted to host. I had a goal for the revenue I wanted to make from my business, from teaching people and impacting knowledge. But like I said, this is one of the aspects that I was not able to meet in terms of the classes that I was able to host this year but it's okay i was still able to host some classes though not as much as i wanted to but i achieved something so i'm giving myself credit for it and i'm congratulating myself so it's not over if you feel that all that you set for the year or the things that you really wanted for your business you were not able to achieve it the new year brings new opportunities it brings new chances for you to try again while there's life there's hope so what you want to do is not to just go blindly into the new year. Oh, it's a new year. It's, it brings me new opportunities. I'm just going to try again. If you do that without a plan, if you do that without retrospecting, if you do that without thinking, if you do that without looking back and reflecting on the things that possibly or the things that hindered you from achieving your goals this year, then that ultimately means that you're going into the new phase or into a new year blindly and you'll not be surprised if you make the same mistake so it could be i could not achieve this uh, skill i could not learn this class let me move forward I'm just too far behind it could be i did not acquire the skill i wanted to acquire i could not register my business i did not make as much sales i did not host this class 
I did not travel for this international class or training that I wanted to go to. I did not take this class after all. Whatever it is, I could not write, I could not get a space for my business. Whatever it is, you need to find out what happened and why you're not able to achieve those goals. Like for myself, I talked about, about the classes. I spoke about the classes that I wanted to host. I know I had a number of classes that I was looking to host, but I could not achieve those. Now, why was I not able to achieve those? Is it because I did not want to or is it because of some other things? Definitely life happened, job and all of those other things. And I saw I couldn't plan myself the way I wanted to. I did not have that leisure of time or that freedom of time to do as much as I wanted to. Now, some of these things might not be your fault. Do not blame yourself, but it is important that you know why you were not able to achieve those goals so that you plan for it in the coming year. Classes you wanted to host or classes you wanted to enroll for and you do not have enough funds. Is it that you did not start saving early? So if you're looking to take classes in January, you can start making inquiries and you can start looking for how to raise funds for those classes. Whatever it is, please make sure that you're looking back, reflecting, retrospecting, finding out what happened, why you were not able to achieve those goals, and then putting plans in place on how you can achieve them in the coming year. So I just thought to put this out to encourage you, please do not be discouraged. Go for your dreams. If you're still passionate about this business, then you need to go in for it. My husband was telling me something a couple of days ago. We were watching a video. And the last thing we drew from that video was this. If you want to do something, go all out for it. Put in your best. Go all in. Now, if you're looking to do a class or you're looking to upgrade your business or looking to upgrade your recipes, whatever it is, go all in. The classes I took in the latter part of this year were classes that I took in one of the most uncomfortable and inconvenient seasons of my life yet i took those classes so let not let, let nothing be the reason let money especially not be the reason why you're not doing things if you want to learn classes begin to make inquiries begin to ask begin to save up funds begin to talk to one or two persons who can give you maybe a soft loan who can help who can assist you but to, to show some level of seriousness if you already have something if you want to enroll for these classes. So if you're reaching out to people for loans or whatever, already you already have something. It's not like you're looking for them to just feed you everything. So you already have something. It would encourage someone who wants to help you. If you're looking to make payments and installments, talk to the person who is hosting the class. This is some of the things that I feel you can do. And like I said, I'm not here to make a long video. It is just to encourage you to put it out there that it is not over until you say it's over. Now, what are you going to be doing differently? I would like to know in the comments, what were the challenges they had in this year that you want to work on, that you're looking to overcome in the coming year? That is, if you're still passionate about baking and if you'd like to try, you know, running your cake business still, if you just still want to go in. I know that, like I said, times are tough. It's discouraging. The prices of goods are off the roof in some locations it's really crazy what's happening in some locations it's really mind-blowing what is happening in some countries when it comes to running a business but i salute you for your courage i salute you because you're still in the game and i believe in you that you can still do it so this is just to say once again for the obtained time i know you're tired but i must say it that it's not over until it's over Please, if you enjoyed this video and if you were encouraged by it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in the coming year. Of course, there will be more videos, but just, I just thought to make this a different kind of video since it's a milestone for me. And just to say thank you very much for your support. Until I see you in my next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.